I think we're living carelessly, brethren. Now, our own men, we had, well, let me say that we had quite a conference over in London recently on the production of the plain truth, and we're very much concerned about plain truth circulation now in Europe and across the Atlantic. And we're having a big increase in circulation. As a matter of fact, our production people are worried, not because the plain truth circulation is going down, but because it's going up. And as we add another half million or another million to the circulation of the plain truth, we also add millions of dollars to the cost of operating God's work and of publishing the plain truth. The plain truth has become bigger than I think most of us realize. Of the known magazines, like Reader's Digest and like the, uh, uh, the oh, I can never think of words that I want to, the, uh, well, I don't know why a word won't come to me when I think of it, that I know so well, National Geographic. Uh, the United States is one of the perhaps four or five greatest circulation magazines in the world, that class of magazines. I think there are some that have a large circulation that we never think of and never hear of and don't know much about. We're considerably bigger in circulation than Time or Newsweek or United States News bigger than any of the popular magazines in the United States. We're reaching one of every 20 households in the United States, beside heavy circulations in all countries of the earth. And the last report I had, there's only two nations on earth we're not getting into. The gospel is going to the world. And the gospel has now, the gospel of the kingdom has been declared in all the world for a witness to all nations. The two we have not reached are under the communist power anyway, and their captive nations, you might say, Laos and Cambodia.